Now, if you've been watching the past few videos, I've really been enjoying dribbling with a low ball handle. A lot of you guys also have been asking for like a tutorial on like 30 ball control all the way to 70. That will be coming, just hang tight. I've got some very in-depth tutorials coming for you guys. And today we've got a really unique build that's kind of going to demonstrate this a little bit more. We've got a 99 overall point center. Now shout out to my guy Zach. He actually had this point center build at 97 overall. For people saying I don't grind my own builds, first of all, I don't really understand that considering I have like 13 99 overall builds. But anyway, I got this build from 97 to 99 and it's looking really good. Let's take a look at the stats real quickly. Now this is a point center. So obviously it's a center build, a 75 driving dunk. 76 mid-range, 69 three-pointer, which on paper, you probably think it's not that great. But I'm going to show you guys, this is definitely going to be good enough. 75 ball handle. So like I did mention in the beginning, I'm going to showcase how you can dribble with a 75 ball handle. If you guys missed my last video, I showcased how you can dribble with like a 30, all right? So definitely go check that out if you're interested in how to dribble with a low ball control. I will be dropping that tutorial soon. Now the defense is nothing crazy, but it's really not that bad either. But this build is six foot nine with a 90 speed. So that's kind of cool. Here is the batch on the build. We got two, 12, 28, and 11. I'm just gonna real quickly show you guys what I'll be using in the video. Some people have told me to use Lucky 7, but I don't know, something about Lucky 7 in the 1v1 court, it might not be that bad, but you know what? You know what? We're gonna try it out today. I think Silver Limitless is one of the best badges for ISO. You definitely get a lot of those dunks further out. And since we are playing the 1v1 court in this video, I'm going to go ahead and take off all this kind of stuff like this. Probably throw it on this. Throw it on this. Bro, there's so many good like ISO playmaking badges this year. You can throw it on that. And we still have some left over. We still have enough for like another Hall of Fame badge. So maybe we could break some ankles with triple thread juke. I've not tried that out this year. This is what we're going to rock with defensively. We've got ball stripper because I do know we're going to be going up against a lot of slashers. So we're going to try this out. Clamps, rebound chaser, rim protector, and sand vader, and chase down artist. And here are our animations we will be using today. We're going to be using Trey Young hop jumper. Don't know if I'll be using it. Don't know if I'll be fading or anything like that. But here's our dunk packages. Here are the dribble moves for the 70 ball control. So if you guys are interested, this right here, I probably will have to make a separate video on it. So if you guys have like at least a 65 ball handle, trust me, I'll show you guys in the game clips. Use Giannis Antetokounmpo's signature size up. But hopefully you guys do enjoy. I think a point center is a pretty unique build. Talk about rare builds. You definitely don't see this very often. If you guys are new, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. We've got a lot of cool builds coming up and I do plan on making a lot of builds. So Comment down below an NBA player or a build you would like to see me make. I'm going to be making a lot coming up to this legend grind. So just make sure you comment down below. But without further ado, the 99 overall point center. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so we're going to show you how to make the point center build. Obviously, the only thing that really matters here is to make sure you are a center to get this build name. And we will be picking the pure playmaking pie chart. And we will go in with the pure speed pie chart right here. We're going to have a 90 speed. I know right now it doesn't look too crazy. But once we start messing around with like the height and weight and stuff like that, you'll see how crazy this build really gets. Our driving layup is going to be a 58 and we're going to max out our driving dunk to a 55. These will get better. And honestly, this is like kind of perfect for if you were trying to get like wide open drives and dunks and stuff like that in the side of the paint, you should be able to dunk those down pretty consistently. Our mid range shot is going to go to a 70 and our three point shot is going to be maxed out as well with our free throw all the way maxed out. And then we're just going to go to our post fade to a 66 just so we can get those 12 shooting badges. Pass accuracy here is going to be a 72. We're going to max out our ball handle. It doesn't really look too crazy right now. But again, like I said, once we start messing around with the height, it's going to be perfect. We'll take our post control to a 94. As you guys can see, gives us those 28 playmaking. Interior is going to be maxed all the way out. Your perimeter defense is going to be maxed all the way out along with the lateral quickness. And like I said, once we start messing around with the height, you'll see it gets a lot better. We're actually going to take our defensive rebound down one. If you max this out, you're going to get glass cleaner. So if you go down one right here, you will get the point center name and we'll max out the offensive rebound along with our block shot. And then we'll throw the last three onto steel. And that's going to give us a total of 1, 12, 28 and 11. Pretty solid for a center build. Now, obviously the body type doesn't matter, but this is what I was talking about right here. As you go six foot nine, you can see the stats get a lot better. Your drive dunk is going to be there. Eventually you will be getting park dunks if you want those. You're gonna have a pretty good three-point shot if you guys watch my lebron james build i have like a 66 three-point shot so that's like perfect for me and you definitely gonna hit those wide open ones our weight is gonna go to 190 and our wingspan is going to go to 89 just so we can get that ball handle 75 once we get to 99 overall and that's gonna give you like the scotty pippen behind the back and all those good moves now i kind of wish you could get like slasher takeover or something like that rim protector is not that great glass cleaner it's okay you could probably do that but for the sake of the build 
we will be going with the playmaking takeover and as you guys can see we're getting the point center name with the shades of carl anthony towns bobby porters jr and nikola vucevic it's currently 12 30 a.m i kind of had to wait you know maybe some of the sweats were asleep i'm not trying to just play rim runners the whole game but man this 99 point center i'm hoping is good all right this guy is a two-way slashing playmaker if i remember correctly i think this is a blue green if i lose to a kid with a droopy face can at midnight bro i don't know he's kind of like stopping and starting a lot like doing weird moves like, I don't know if he really knows how to dribble. Bro, I'm like right there, 2K. Give me the block, please. Kid's mic has not turned off one time. Give me that ball, bro. There's no chance. I had to reach at least once. The kid was going like left, right, like pausing and stuff. All right, we got to lock in because this kid was kind of scoring with ease. They're not that tall, bro. So like I should be able to mash a lot of these guys. And you do know the model in the 1v1 court. We do whatever it takes. It might not always be the prettiest, but it will get the job done. <laughs> this guy has literally no defense. Do not think I can shoot. I'm telling you, I'm that guy. I have a 69 three pointer, but don't let that fool you. Bro, I hate that move so much. I probably missed this too. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised. It gives me like the worst spin animations for layups and dunks. I don't know why. We got a Westbrook dunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for using Westbrook dunks, buddy. I am 6'9". I'll take that layup all day long. Oh, what are the... We stunned with that? Left hand. Oh, yes. We got the safe dunks. All right. You got the Westbrook dunks. We got the safe ones. Tight handles fade Ooh, okay a little something nice there i don't want to mess around because this guy was scoring with ease too i'm not gonna lie there we go thank goodness bro we had to end that one with a dunk because he was like kind of playing high and like playing that hands up defense and i don't know we just had to end it like i do say on the 1v1 court we end this however we can it doesn't always have to be pretty but we will get the job done just my luck i get to go up against the pain bees bro it's literally almost 1 a.m what are you doing oh nice little in and out hey two hands these guys don't have lateral quickness so i have to make sure like i'm using these moves like going back and forth pretty quickly that's Giannis, by the way, if you guys were wondering. Oh, hey, ow, let me get, hey, let's get excited. All right, this guy is giving me the mid range, so I definitely have to do it. But like stuff like this, I always want to like kind of get a couple baskets first, just so I'm com kind of comfortable with shooting the three. Just ignore how I have five rebounds. I'm not showing that possession. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this guy doesn't think I can shoot either. All right, we got to make him a believer. This lucky seven badge, though. I'm not gonna line the one v one court. I gotta start using this. Hey, <laughs> I'm not gonna blocked either. Get in there, thank you. Take that, and we almost have takeover. I gotta make this guy fall. If he's just sitting in the paint the whole entire game, he's gotta fall, right? He's kind of like playing hands up too. Can we hit him with a fade? Why would I? Oh my god! I would be so mad if I just hit a white fade on this guy. What is he? Like, come on, bro. You can't just be sitting pain like this. You're a seven foot three pole scorer. You got to know if you get the ball one time. Oh my gosh. We got to green that one. <laughs> and I sold a clip. I got to be the worst. All right. Now we give the seven foot three a chance just to rim run or just to back me down. This is not going to be fun. Eh. That's not, oh my gosh. We got to We got to stop first possession. There's no way. Come on. Get in there. Get a shot. I wish that was a three. But we really, <laughs> we really got to stop first play too. Get in there. Yes, sir. Seven foot three post score taken off. All right. I got to get some of these moves going down. Hey, so I might have lost to a seven foot three post score. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about it. Oh, a two way finisher. I can't wait to get rim ran the whole time. Watch. I guarantee this guy does not get like any contact dunks, but he'll just dunk through me like the whole entire game. Oh, look. Clampy clamps. Okay. No way. He gets, if he gets his own rebound off this. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Don't jump. Don't jump. Dude, that's the thing about the 1v1 court, though. It's like, you don't have that much room to actually dribble. And if you get pressed like this, you say goodbye. You just got to take your rim runs and your little hops back. So that's really all you can do. 
Good take, bro. That was awesome, man. And that's number one dunk through me. I'm going to start going for these ball strippers. I put it on for a reason. There you go. Another great take that was apparently wide open. This is why I really do not like the 1v1 court. It's actually so bad this year. Bro, like what am I supposed to do? Bro, this is actually so bad. All right, I cannot lose this. Come on, bro. You can't be sagging off at the mid-range. I'll take these middies all day long. If I miss a midi, bro, that's on me. Come on, bro. Come on, man. You got to play some better defense than that. All right, so he's going to reach. This is going to be a ballsy play. He's going to press up and reach. I'm going to run left. And I went for it. See? Look, I know I can call this stuff out. I play with kids like this all the time. Dude, he jumped in the perfect direction. I still got that off. <laughs> I don't know what animation that was, but I'm not going to complain about it. This guy has lock takeover, and he didn't get a steal off that. Come on, bro. I'm taking all these little hop steps. This guy has log take and I got lucky seven with green machine and stuff. So come on, bro. That's like our first three too. And that was like a perfect time to give us the lead. Oh my gosh. That's the perfect dunk. Okay. This guy get out of my way, bro. I'm getting kind of scared now. Hey, <laughs> thank goodness, bro. That, that just goes to show you the meta of this game and how easy it is to win. If you go back, I'm going to include all the shots that he made. It's unbelievable. Like, I have to go try so hard to go against a guy that's just making contested layups the whole game. Oh, perfect. Another rim running build. And I guarantee he's got a slasher takeover too. Yep, that's perfect. I want to see if I could break somebody with like this triple threat thing. I don't think you can. You can apparently stun people off of it. Oh my gosh. Come on, man. Let's go. I just can't press it up so high. Like I can't just dunk it, bro. I'm six foot nine. What are you doing? All right, come on, bro. I gotta, I gotta end these games quick. I gotta start doing these like little simple moves because I do have like a 70 ball handle. But come on, fade. Give me one, bro. I gotta stop trolling, bro. This is how I lose games. Then we're rim run euro. Six nine, big boy. Pump, 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 pump. That's that's called skill, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Now we're, now we're cooking up a little bit. That's not too bad. But you get crabbed. You get crabbed. You get crabbed. Hey, that's such a bad animation, though. Like, if you jump on a spin move and you get stripped, like, as a block, I don't understand that. Like, that makes no sense to me. All right, let's combo up. Dude, that speed boost is nasty. Oh my gosh, you can't stick this. This is a six foot nine center, man. You can't stick me. We almost have takeover. We'll probably get the last play to actually, let's see who will fade to the right side. This, now we got to make this guy fall. We did get an ankle breaker earlier, but I want to get somebody to drop, bro. Bro, I want to make this guy fall, man, but he's like sitting in the pain. Like he's already just like accepted defeat. All right, come on, drop for me. Bro, play take is terrible. We'll just, we'll just end it then. Bro, I wish playmaking takeover was better, bro. I feel like I never really get ankle breakers. Well, hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. Again, shout out to Zach for letting me use his point center. If you guys made it this far, make sure to let me know down below in the comment section what kind of builds or NBA player builds you guys would like to see. I am making a lot, so make sure you comment. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you watch one of these videos. But until next time, it's been your boy Dignified. I'm out. Peace.